Hi friends, let's create this retro messy bun. First of all, thank you very much for coming back to my channel again. And I know it's been really very long that I have created any video so far. However, now we're back again. And to all those subscribers who've been waiting and watching my channel, thank you very much for all your support till now. I have created this hairstyle recently for Neeti Mohan Singer for uh, Anand Radhika's event for the celebration wherein she was performing and uh, we suggested this hairstyle for her and it looked really fab on her. So I'm making it for my viewers. Firstly, I've used the squash quaff serum to add a little shine to the hair. I'm going to divide the hair in three sections, just the front side, leaving all the hair at the back. You don't have to be professional in this because I'm using natural texture without prepping the hair. If you have wavy hair, curly hair, messy hair, frizzy hair, this hairstyle is going to be the best one for you because it's less time consuming and you do not need a lot of products to use in your hair. If you do have fine hair, thin hair, you might need to put extensions. For that, you would require some help. So as you see, I have made three sections. The sections doesn't need to be neat. It can be messy. The partition can be zigzag or just uneven. You don't have to be, you know, perfect. That's all right. Here I'm leaving few sections of hair in the hairline just for adding a little bit of face framing for the face if you do not like it you can just take it back however i just would want to have something how i've created for needy i'm starting with the dutch braid here taking even sections as you see i'm not taking it perfectly because this mess, this hairstyle is supposed to be messy. So you do not have to be perfect. You can take any thin, fat, medium sized sections. That's all right. As you see, I slowly take the hair backwards in a diagonal direction. I started from the left hand the left ear of the head of my model and as you see I have clearly clipped this section of the back side the back hair so that the braid that I am creating here doesn't get any disturbances now here the disturbances is the rest of the hair that should not be interrupting you while creating this touch braid However, if you are a very pro on doing these hairstyles on your own or for others, then you're going to enjoy this. Once I'm done with the sections behind, I'm going to take it slow, finish the entire section and then I'm not going to tie the rubber band here. Because if you tie the rubber band, you won't be able to release the braids each section here. As you see now, what I'm doing is, I'm trying to release each braided part and spread it to make it look more bigger and thicker. So for this, it's best that you do not add any rubber bands or don't tie your hair that time. Just leave it and make sure that you're making it more loose and bigger. Coming on to the other section, we're going to repeat the same over here. Just match the hairline flex that you want, however, what kind of toolies a model would prefer. Make sure that it's equal, even if it's not, that's not a problem. It all depends on the face shape. And it's not necessary that you always have to take these uh, the hairline flicks because it doesn't suit everyone. So just see whatever you like it. If it suits you, good for you. If it doesn't, then you just braid it all up. 
I'm gonna get start with another touch here taking it diagonally backwards this is onto the right side I've started to slowly take thicker sections here not fine the best part about this braid is the grip that you hold has to be tight enough so you make sure that the grip is tighter because the braid has to be tighter from the roots however you're gonna any which ways you're gonna loosen it up later the, the braid has to be tightened from the roots so keep following this I'm almost coming to the end to finish this part of the braid itself purposely I did not uh, smoothen the dummy's hair because there are many Indian hair who are frizzy, dry, curly, wavy and we all want to you know avoid blow dries because it's been so damaging to the hair not every time but sometimes and most of the clients and people they do not prefer blow drying their hair because they think it will damage their hair so I made sure that my dummy had braids for months and months and then I opened the braids so I got this texture otherwise my dummy's hair is pretty smooth and shiny the dummy is having natural 100% hair human hair so I've again used the same technique of spreading the each angles of the braid making it thicker and fuller that's how I complete and clip it coming on to the center section here we'll try to finish the third braid here so here what I have done is I've used a little bit of serum again and I'm doing the top braid in the last so that I get the alignment so what happens is when I was doing it on the singer the artist I had to open the hair twice because of the alignment so make sure that it's coming in the center so whenever you're trying to do it you have to follow the partition of from the nose and make sure you're sitting in front of the mirror so that it's easier for you to have the alignment so as you see my partition has not come even because we had taken zigzag partitions amongst the braids and that's how you can do it and also the benefit of not taking a straight partition is even if you have a little bit of scanty hair it gets hidden so making a straight line a straight partition makes it more scanty sometimes so when you take it zigzag or uneven it's not that visible so you do not have to you know be extremely perfect or professional that's fine the hairstyles that i have been creating on my page i make sure and i'm i mostly try to make it as easy as possible so that people pick up easily or who doesn't want to you know do hairstyles which are way lengthy and needs a lot of theories to understand it has to be just basics even if you learn this basic braid it's going to be very easy for you trust me here you can also do one more thing either you leave the braided hair section area and first tie up the rest of the hair the back side or you can start the same way do the braids and then the bun so the bun is also very basic and messy so as you see i finished the braid the third touch braid here 
I'm trying to make it more thicker, fuller, making it look big, large, spreading it evenly. And I have clipped it aside. Since I'm working alone, so I do not have any help here, I'm gonna isolate the section on top, clip all them on the crown, and tie a pony of the rest of the hair. You can do this in the beginning also, however, this is how I've been doing it for the video. I've added some serum just to add shine. So the serum is more like a cream, not exactly a serum, otherwise the hair would look very oily and sticky or shiny for the video. I've used a cream. So any hydrating cream for the hair, like Olaplex or Squash Wolf, would work best, or L'Oreal as well. I'm using U-pins here and twisted them into a nice messy bun. Quick and easy. Just make sure that you seal your each U-pins into the hair like a needle make sure you don't poke into the client's scalp just be very careful I'm taking the first left braid here clipping it all along adding some u-pins and securing it with the button i have done the exact same thing for the artist's hair which i'm going to share the reference picture in the end of the video so please stay with us and uh, can get to see the last picture coming on with the second braid that is on the right side overlapping it from above it securing it with more hue pins You can also use bobby pins, however U pins are more comfortable. If your hair is shiny, silky and you know the hair would not be able to hold these pins then I would prefer using bobby pins for you. Coming on to the last and third braid which has to go the same direction. You don't have to take it to any of the sides. I'm just securing a bobby pin so that the braid sits well the crown as you can see how I'm doing it in the video I'm securing the rest of the hair and the bun you can texture the ends of the hair however it is not required because the rest of the hair is gonna get hidden in the bun as I've secured them I'm working on the front hairline here adding a little bit of texture to them you can use any size of tongue here I'm using 22 iconic you do not have to be extremely perfect to learn these curls just make sure that there is a little bit of texture that's it however if your hair is silky and straight once again, reminding you that you can use spray or mousse so that it holds long. I'm going to work again on the braid so that it looks full and thick as you see in the video of the sides. You can add any kind of hair accessories as you wish. Here I'm going to add only roses. Using a little bit of texture spray from L'Oreal. Add some more spray to the hairline hair. So this hairstyle looks really best in an Indo-Western outfit. So you can see in this picture, it's a finished look. I've added petals instead of roses. And that's the final look that she was carrying on the event. Thank you.